little countdown situation here. You ready? Three, two, one, and go. Okay, so let's see. Let's see these these serious faces. And we have uh, Yanis uh, calculating the numbers uh, on his screen. Um, so it's still nil nil. Yeah, so I think, uh, as with all of these cases, uh, it's going to take a few minutes before uh, anybody gets on the board. Uh, as you may have uh, hinted, uh, Andrew, it's uh, it's pretty easy to get the first 15 right. You can just sum all the answers up. Uh, might be a good idea to do that to get uh, get some points on the board. But uh, I think Yanis decided he wants to uh, immediately try and uh, tackle the general problem, which, uh, well, if he managed to get the problem right, is good. Uh, if he gets zero points at the end and Tim gets some easy points on the board, then he might regret that. Um, but yeah, as you were saying, Andrew, uh, the, the main nuance of this uh, case is going to be the strikes and the spares. Um, yeah, the, the spares, sort of, as you were saying, add your next score and uh, the strike adds your next two scores. And the problem with that is that those may be in the next frame. The next two scores might be in the frame and the one after if you get a strike, two strikes in a row. And it gets very complicated there. Um, and then the other sort of thing with the last 25, it might be uh, it might look a little uh, innocuous why just having some things going on the last frame uh, makes things more complicated. But uh, uh, in the last frame, all of that strike and spare stuff we were just talking about doesn't count. So you're going to have to figure out how to sort of back that out. Um, so what, what's Yanis up to here, can we see? Um, he seems to be at the moment just cleaning up the data, um, which is quite important. Uh, not really sure how what exactly he's doing there, but uh, yeah. Kat, how would you approach a problem like this? I would have started probably up at the top doing that sum function there. But I think what he's doing is interesting because he's trying to build it into an if statement right now with those dynamic numbers up at the top. But it seems he's got some some errors in there. So I'm curious to see what he's going to do about this. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a problem of tidy. The data is probably an important first step is, um, you know, there, there are a lot of numbers for when you just hit a number of pins, but a strike is a slash and a spare. Sorry, a strike is a cross and a spare is a slash. And Excel can't add a cross to a number. You get a value error, yeah. which I think is the problem. Uh, Yanis is it here. Tim, I think, is uh, taking your advice, uh, Andrew. He's, he's taken a, an early lead and taken that low-hanging fruit. Should we have a look at what Tim's up to? Yeah, let's go there. Let's go to Tim's screen. So we have a look at his really scored quite quite interesting, uh, you know, uh, numbers. And by the way, uh, one mistake I believe that uh, Yanis probably was uh, making. And actually, it seems that Tim is uh, doing the same thing over here. He's trying to make the formula based on. Uh, no, it's no. Okay, okay, he's fine. He's doing the formula based on the latter numbers because. Uh, what I saw in Yanis screen was the fact that Yanis was trying to make the formulas based on the game number one, which does not contain neither spares nor strikes. And that might be a problem for him. So here I see that Tim is actually making the formulas on uh, starting from row, no row number 16, which is good. Which allows him to see the feedback of his formulas right away. Yeah, exactly. I, th I think another thing that uh, we, we especially had in the first session, uh, JP Delavin, he uh, he solved 98% of the problem but didn't put any of the answers in, uh, which for which he gets zero points very sadly. So um, yeah, Tim's uh, Tim's doing a good job of making sure he actually uh, you know gets those answers in quickly. Is uh, uh, with only 10 minutes to to model, he can go. It really is going to um, fly by for them. So uh, you know, making sure that you get credit for everything you've done is quite important. That's correct. And actually, if you, for example, if you're able to solve a, a, a case with, let's say, um, for level two, and you could copy the formulas uh, down below to the very end, you can still get some points uh, because, you know, in some of these uh, next games, uh, it's not uh, mentioned. It, it's not meant that uh, all of these games will contain uh, strikes. Some of them might not, might not. So other extra points there as well. Yeah, absolutely. I think, uh, yeah, you, you can see most of uh, what, what what both competitors are trying to do here is just try and tidy up this data. Uh, you can see uh, Tim there, he's already uh, figured out, uh, you know, if there's a slash, he's trying to figure out how many extra points you get for that. So if you can quickly sort of add that to, um, you know, the scores he's already got, hopefully he should get some points there uh, for the uh, the next the next 15 uh, questions with just, uh, just spare, sorry. 
Yeah, for the spares, it's it's easy now because uh, for the spares, it's typically, uh, especially for questions number 16 to 30, uh, it's just doubling the next number. So basically, the formula for him should be like, uh, okay, if it's a slash, then uh, double the next number or double count the next number. And uh, don't forget that the total for the current strike, uh, the current uh, throw plus the previous number should be uh, should be 10. So I would imagine that it's quite an easy formula to write and uh, it shouldn't take uh, more than 10 minutes to get at least the uh, first two levels of, uh, of the problem solved. Uh, yeah. Putting together the axis could be a problem because uh, there could be different positions of the next two throws, uh, as you mentioned, Michael. Yeah, absolutely. And I think uh, for both Tim and it looked like what Yanis was doing, I think their approach is going to be quite difficult to uh, to get a perfect score on uh, the, the strike sections because of that gap, as you say. I think, um, oh, I think, oh, okay, Tim's screen went for a second there. Um, I, I think sort of maybe doing something earlier on to sort of try and remove the blank space from the data. Um, so, for instance, when you've got a strike, the next thing is completely blank. So trying to uh, get rid of that data sooner rather than later may have been a good idea. But it's difficult to balance that with the hints we were giving earlier of maybe get the 150 points on the board. But Yanis now uh, has those points on the board as well. Should we have a look at what, uh, what he's up to? So... Huh? Okay, he's doing some if formulas. So. It uh, seems that he's uh, looking at if it's a slash, then uh, he tries to put the remaining numbers until the, until it's ten for the uh, for for a, an attempt, and, uh, and he also needs to double double the the next numbers. So it might be the, the case that he's well set for the next uh, you know for solving the next level as well. Yeah, we only have almost three minutes left. This time is flying by. It's amazing. In the first session, it was like, uh, wow, you, you don't even notice how the time flies and it's uh, and it's over. So, yeah. Yeah. So just to clear it up for the people at home in the event of a tie, I think I'm right in saying, uh, Andrew, that if uh, one of them proclaims themselves to be done, uh, the person who claims they're done the fastest wins. If not, we go to more modeling. Is that right? Uh, yes, I think so. Uh, well, b basically here uh, on the uh, bottom of the screen, you have the uh, the scoreboard. And at the time, somebody gives up or admits that okay, I'm not going to score anything else in this uh, in this model. Uh, there are going to be a green tick box appearing there, and we all see that okay, uh, this person has uh, completed. And uh, in case of a tie, it's going to be uh, this uh, player who who wins. So the one. Who who is the first to admit that uh, he's not going to make any more points there. <laughs> it's an interesting strategy. I love it. Yeah, yeah. it's it's very, very defeatist almost. Uh, hopefully yeah. neither of them are thinking throwing in the towel just yet with two minutes to go. Uh, I think they both look like, I mean, they've both been working on the spares for a while, so I would be surprised if neither of them managed to get any more points. Um, I think Yanis is just having some problem with uh, a lot of errors there. He needs to sort of tidy up his data a bit more from the, the adding text problem I was going on about earlier. Um, but it looked like I would be surprised. Oh, Yanis is going for some answers here. I would be surprised if we don't get anybody, uh, any of the data. Oh, Yanis is just going to fill in the data uh, manually. I mean, you can just find and replace all the dashes with zeros. I think that would be substantially faster, but I think Yanis has just realized he can just get a, a quick 10 points on the board and maybe take this. Um, yeah. yeah. I mean, it might, <laughs> it might just come down to them both just trying to score bowling in their head at this rate, <laughs> which is not yeah. really Excel, but... <laughs> At the end of the day, what you need to do here, but you basically have like one and a half minute left and uh, you like whoever scores like one point manually and you'd rather go and uh, do it uh, probably, uh, you know, somewhere in the uh, higher ranked points than you're, you're going to win. Uh, amazingly, and I was showing that during the um, case introduction, uh, the last case is exactly 300 points. And if you play bowling, you should like like know that by heart. Like if there are 12, 12 strikes, it's going to be uh, it's going to be uh, 300 points. So uh, let's. Oh, I'd love, I'd love for Tim to remember that and win, win it on that. That would be, 
uh, you know, it's not, it's not just Excel over here at FMWC, it's general knowledge as well. So uh, we'll see with a minute to go. Uh, another thing to, uh, to comment on is uh, Yanis's. So we've got this APM meter, that's actions per minute. That's how many times they're hitting a key or the mouse or whatnot. Uh, 90 is probably the lowest we've seen in this competition. A lot of people have been hitting the two to three hundreds, but uh, uh, it's, it's not just uh, how quickly you press buttons. It's also uh, if the buttons you press are any good. So uh, with 20 seconds to go, it could be a draw. We could be going to extra time, which England famously not very good at uh, in the Euro. Uh, so have a look, he writes uh, 300 there. OK, that's a manual uh, thing. Yeah, he's figuring it out. Ooh. Yeah, he just needs to copy that into the in, into the answer tab. He's not gonna uh, want to call that if he doesn't do that. And what's happening with uh, what's happening with Tim? Yeah, he's just gonna do what I wanted Tim to do. I mean, if none of them do it, then yeah, we go to more modeling. Um, oh gosh. Oh. That's it. I think that's a tie. That's Ooh. a tie. <sighs> okay, guys. <laughs> so, <laughs> what do we do then? Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, this is just. Did that? I, I should have that time, isn't it? A bit too late. Okay, guys. So uh, here is the deal. It's uh, it's a draw. You both have scored 150 points, and you're both quite close to actually uh, scoring something else there. So my suggestion: let's give them two extra minutes. And uh, during these two extra minutes, uh, you might like whoever wins uh, is the winner, or if you still don't score anything, then whoever presses the I'm done button first uh, is going to win as, as well. Okay, guys. So, let's... Are we ready to start that? Let's start the yeah. two minutes. Yeah. Okay, go, go, go. Well, this is very tense now with two minutes to go. Um, we haven't been lo looking at uh, what Tim's been up to too much recently. Uh, I'm not sure how close he is to uh, doing it. Well, maybe Tim looks like... Tim might be just trying to work out the, the numbers manually, given uh, how much he's looking at the data. Have a look at the approach of Yanis. Uh, he's uh, put a white flag, he scored well, like an extra 10 points and uh, said that, okay, I'm done here. Let's see what's, uh, what's Yanis' screen currently. Is that a oh. mistake for him? Or is he really doing something there? I think maybe he's doing it out of interest, but uh, he clearly has put the flag up. So, uh, you know, Yanis is... I mean, maybe a bit tactical there, but Tim uh, but Tim won't know this, but Tim only has to score two correctly and he wins. Uh, Yanis can't do anything about it now. His score's, his score's locked in, but he's only got a minute to do it. So, um, you know, come on, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So let's then move on to Tim's screen and see what Tim is doing. A Tim, wise uh, Tim has got 160. It's a tie. 160 here. And he, he had, well, no, because uh, Yanis is... Yanis has said uh, he's happy first, so... Oh, true. Um, um, so, it's really... Can, can Tim get 10 more points? 34 right. seconds for him. <laughs> this, oh. is, this is the, 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 the tensest bowling uh, calculation you've ever seen. Maybe like playing 10-pin bowling slightly more exciting than this, but uh, <laughs> for calculating the scores, this is probably the tensest calculation of a bowling score there has ever been. Uh, Tim, like, he just looks to be debugging, like, he looks like he's so close to actually getting an answer right, but he just can't quite, uh, get anything, uh, get anything out of it. And with 10 seconds to go, if, if Tim doesn't score any more points, he's gonna get knocked out. Oh my god. Uh, it seems that, uh, yeah. Tim has lost on penalties. That oh is... my god. And it's still a tie. Right. It's a tie, but uh, Yanis was the first one to admit uh, that uh, he is finished there with 160 points. So he gets, he gets one extra point for in case we tie and promotes to the next round. Commiserations, Tim. You are you've uh, been added to the long list of Englishmen to lose on penalties. Uh, Yanis. Uh, Yanis got uh, that 300 as well, but uh, just submitted it a bit faster than you. So I'm afraid you uh, you've been knocked out. H how do you think that went? Were you close uh, to getting it sorted? Initially, well, I was good with uh, with just adding up some numbers. Um, <laughs> so well, after that. that well, Yanis, yes. Yanis, yeah. are you Yanis, through to the next round? Are you, are you pleased? Are you pleased with your performance, or do you think there's uh, you need some work to get through to the semis? Yeah, no, not really, guys. Not really. Don't know what happened. Uh, had an idea. The end mind to finish these uh, 30 lines, 30 games, but uh, somehow uh, my zeros couldn't work in Excel, and uh, you know, 
in, with the stress on my hands, uh, it was uh, quite difficult to think of something new. Uh, but yeah, just looking at the games and uh, seeing that there is one full strikes uh, got me the spot in the semis, I think.